Hi guys! Welcome back sa YouTube channel ko. So for today, may sasagutan lang tayo na isang random math problem na kinoment or na tinanong ng isa sa mga subscribers natin dun sa channel po natin. So basically, this is a uh, uh, polynomial division mga lods. Pero before that, and before natin sagutan to, shoutout muna kay Robert Jan Wamil. Thank you so much Lodi sa patuloy na pag-support and sa pag-subscribe sa channel natin. And I hope you all the best lods. Pagpalain ka ni Lord and more blessing sa iyo. And Keep safe na lang during this ding uh, during during this time kasi nga pandemic lods. So ito yung tanong ni nung nagtanong sa atin mga lodi, find the remainder when x raised to 100 minus 4x raised to 98 plus 5x plus 6 is divided by x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus 2. So kung iisipin natin, x raised to 100 sobrang haba niyan. Kasi kung naalala natin yung concept ng long division sa polynomials, ilalatag mo yung exponent niyan in descending order. So, 100, 99, 98, 97, hanggang dumating ka sa constant. Kaya lang, kapag ganun yung ginawa mo, more, most likely, it will take you almost a day or even more than a day to divide this. Kasi syempre, napaka-prone nun sa pagiging, ano, sa kunyari, arithmetic errors, etc. Syempre, sobrang haba nun mga loads. So, ang gagawin natin ngayon, ituturo ni Sir IG, paano ba natin kukunin yung remainder nito, kapag ito, dinivide dito, na by a quicker way, mas mabilis na paraan pa paano kaya yung gagawin ni Sir IJ pero tandaan nyo mga load, itong method lang na to, applicable kapag yung denominator natin or yung divisor natin mga loads is factorable and having distinct factors, linear factors, okay kapag repeated, so uh, to try natin ituro sa mga susunod na tutorials natin, pero for the meantime we will focus dun sa mga distinct linear factors, pero before that ang first step kasi dito mga load if a factor natin yung uh, denominator natin or yung divisor natin. So, ito mga Lodi, pwede natin siyang i-rewrite. Let's go ito, diba? So, i-rewrite lang muna natin. Tapos, we can we can do some groupings. So, let's say this is our grouping, itong first two and the last two. So, factor out natin yung common x squared multiplied by x minus 2 minus x minus 2. So, kasi positive to mga Lods, diba? Negative times negative, that is positive. So, factor out natin yung common term na x minus 2 multiplied by, di ba, by default, automatic 1 yung coefficient niya. So, this is x squared minus 1. So, this can be written as, so yung x squared minus 1 is difference of 2 squares. So, this can be written as x minus 1 times x plus 1. So, ito na yung pinakauna nating goal. To factor the divisor into distinct linear factors. So, ayan, x minus 2, x minus 1, x plus 1. So, tandaan nyo, itong technique na ginagamit natin, mahirap siyang gawin kapag repeated o kaya naman yung ano natin yung factors are hindi eksaktong integral okay tandaan yun mga lods so kapag ganito na integral lang siya tas distinct ito yung way pinakamadali so ito na ito na yung factors natin x minus 2 x minus 1 x plus 1 so kukunin natin yung roots niyan ano ibig sabihin ng roots ito per factor i-equate natin sa 0 so the roots are so mga lods yung roots natin yung divisor are 2 1 tsaka negative 1. Bakit sir IJ? Kasi x minus 2 equals 0. x minus 1 equals 0. So 1 yung x. x plus 1 equals 0. Yung x natin ay negative 1. Okay. Tapos yung next key step, tingnan natin yung divisor natin. Ano yung degree nito mga lodi? 3. Highest dig Ang ibig sabihin ng degree, highest exponent. So ang ibig sabihin niyan, ang remainder niyan is yung lower, ano niyan, yung next lower degree. Ano ba ang next sa 3 na mas mababa sa kanya? Diba 2? Therefore, yung remainder natin should have a degree of 2. So, degree daw niyan ay 2. Degree is 2. So, paano natin gagawin yan? So, kapag ang degree ay 2, dapat i-express natin siya in the form ax squared. Kasi hindi natin alam yung coefficient ng x squared. Ang degree ng x squared ay 2. Plus bx plus c. So, this will be our remainder or r of x mga lods. Ito yung remainder natin. Ulitin ko, one, minus 1 ka lang dun sa divisor mo. Kung 4 yung degree, eh di cubic yung remainder. Kunyari, 2 lang yung degree mo ng divisor, x squared. Ang magiging remainder mo dun, linear degrees 1. Tandaan, minus 1 lang. Okay? Ayan na. Tapos, sir, IG, ang taas ng exponent yan, x raised to 100. Okay, so ganito ang gagawin natin yan. So, yung next step natin, itong mga roots will play a vital role etong mga roots na to, isa substitute natin dito. So, at x equals 2, ilalagay natin to mga lods. So, magiging a multiplied by 2 squared 
plus, bakit ulit 2 kasi galing dun sa roots? B times 2 plus C equals, o paano yung R of X? Yung R of X, ipapalit mo dito mga lods yan. So, magiging X mo 2. Ito yung ilalagay mo. So, we have X raised to 100 or that is 2 raised to 100 minus 4 times 2 raised to 98 plus 5 times 2 plus 6. Ulitin natin, itong R of X, ito yung nilagay ni Sir IJ. Nilagay niya lang yung value ng X which is 2, yung una nating root. Simplify natin, 4A plus 2B plus C equals 2 raised to 100. Di ba ang 4 mga lods 2 squared? Okay? So, kung ang 4 ay 2 squared, so applying the product power, uh, product of powers property, so kung ito ay 2 squared, eh 98 yung degree nito, ay yung exponent. So, i-add lang natin since same yung base. So, 98 plus 2, so that is 100. Kaya pala, Sir IJ, maka-cancel din pala siya. Plus 10 plus 6. Therefore, yung una nating equation, mga lods, 4A plus 2B plus C equals 10 plus 6, that is 16. That is our first equation. Next, i-substitute naman natin yung 1 dito. So, at x equals 1, mga lods, so that is a multiplied by 1 squared plus b multiplied by 1. Saan ulit substitute, sir ij? Dito po, sa remainder natin, mga lods. Plus c is equal to, ito naman yung papalitan natin ng 1. So, that is 1 raised to 100 minus 4 times 1 raised to 98 plus 5 times 1 plus 6. Simplify natin. We have a plus b plus c is equal to 1 minus 4. So, this is negative 3 plus 5 positive 2 plus 6 that's positive 8. That will be our equation 2. Okay? Tintingnan nyo maigi. Tatlo yung announce natin. So, basically, we need 3 equations mga logi. Okay? Kasi that will be, kung ilan yung equation mo that will be the number of unknowns. Kasi kapag hindi na sila equal, yun yung tinatawag natin na Okay, tama ka dyan, Lodi. Yun yung Diophantine equation. So, basically, magkakaroon din tayo ng tutorial dyan soon. Okay, so, burahin mo natin ito, mga Lodi. Ha? I-post nyo na lang if you want to copy. Tapos, yung last nating is substitute yung negative 1. So, at x equals negative 1, mga Lods. So, anong lalabas dito? Ax squared. So, a times negative 1 squared plus b times negative 1 plus c equals negative 1 yung ilalagay natin. Negative 1 raised to 100, minus 4 times negative 1 raised to 98 mga lods, plus 5 times negative 1 plus 6. Simplify natin yan, Sir IJ. So that is 1. Pag even yung exponent, kahit negative 1 yung ilalim, positive 1 pa rin yan. Minus 4, minus 5, plus 6. Therefore, A, negative B, plus C equals 1 minus 4, negative 3, minus 5, negative 8 plus 6, negative 2. Ito yung equation 3 natin. Okay? Ito yung equation 1, equation 2, equation 3. So, burahin muna natin, mga lods. Tandaan natin yung mga yan, ha? Okay, abuburahin ko na muna, mga lods, ha? So, siguro ito na lang yung burahin natin. Yung mga ano na natin. Ayan. Ilatag natin yung mga equation natin. Ah, sige, burahin na rin natin. Basta naalala naman ni Sir IG. Ayan. So, meron tayong tatlong equation. Meron tayong 4a plus 2b plus c equals 16. Yun yung una natin. Yung pangalawa natin is a plus b plus c equals 8. Tapos yung pangatlo natin, a minus b plus c equals negative 2. Kung mapapansin yung mga lodi dito sa first and second equation, pwede natin siyang isubtract using elimination method. Kapag may minus mo yan, makakancel yung a, makakancel yung c. b minus negative b, that is 2b is equal to 8 minus negative 2, that is 10. Therefore, B is equal to 5. Okay? So, kapag ito 5, so, magiging A plus C, 8 minus 5, 3, di ba, mga Lodi? So, ito, magiging converted sa A plus C equals 3. Baka na dito ulit, yung B po, galing lang dito sa nasolve natin. 5, 8 minus 5, that is 3. Kaya A plus C is 3. Tapos dito, yung 5 naman, ilagay natin sa unang equation kasi kakailanganin na natin siya. So, 2 times 5, this is 10. 16 minus 10, that is 6. Therefore, 4a plus c equals 6. Bakit ulit, sir? 2 times 5, 10. Tinranspose, nilipat natin sa kabila, nagbawas tayo ng 10. 16 minus 10, that is 6. Tapos, copy na lang. Ito na yung bago nating equation, and then, eliminate ulit, i-minus natin. 
kasi mawawala yung C. 3A is equal to 3. Anong value ng A? 1. Obviously, yung value ng C ay anong i-add natin sa 1 para maging 3? That is 2. Sir IG, ano nang gagawin natin dyan sa remainder na yan, sa A, B, and C? E di ilalagay natin dito, ang A natin ay 1, so magiging x squared plus ano yung B natin? 5. Ano yung C natin? Is 2. Therefore, ito na yung magiging remainder natin. ba diba? Hindi mo kailangan mag-divide. So, sinold mo lang siya, ginamitan mo ng properties ng uh, mga polynomial equations, and then yun, equate-equate lang. Basta tandaan, 1 degree lower lang siya. So, if you have questions or clarifications, mga loads, huwag kayong mahiyang mag-comment. Sana may natutunan kayo for today, and I hope you're the best. Magpalain tayo ni Lord, and see you in my next match tutorial video. Bye-bye!